There are 18,000 law enforcement agencies in the U.S., according to the Department of Justice. And in the last 25 years, fewer than 100 have been placed under a consent decree. It is a rare form of sanctioning, a contract with the federal government for mandated reform, used when a police department shows a pattern of breaking the law. The Trump administration put them on hold in 2018. I made it clear that this Department of Justice will not sign consent decrees that will cost lives by handcuffing the police rather than handcuffing the criminals. Attorney General Merrick Garland brought them back in April of 2021 and set his sights on Louisville Metro Police. To building trust between law enforcement and the communities they serve. This oversight agreement sets tangible requirements for change, metrics to measure the improvement, and timelines to achieve them. It's approved by a federal judge and legally binding, then overseen by an independent monitoring group who must regularly report progress or any problems to the public. Do they work? Officers begin to understand that these issues will be a, a, a investigated thoroughly, quickly. They will be given great attention immediately and that there will be a consequence. Um, all right, so could you each of you talk a little bit about backdoor examples of packing consent decrees? Depends on who you ask. Consent decrees turn DOJ litigators, private plaintiffs, federal judges, and private monitors into regulators, <clears throat> even if they lack the time or expertise to properly regulate. Police beating of Rodney King and the riots that lit Los Angeles on fire after the officers were cleared on state charges were the driving force for the federal government to create a pathway to mandate local police reform. This map shows where consent decrees have been implemented. The timeline for federal oversight varies. It's a minimum five years, oftentimes much longer. For example, Cleveland went into a consent decree seven years ago. New Orleans, 10 years. Oakland PD, 20. To the extent that, you know, there is a sustained change in terms of community engagement or if agencies are going to be able to support all the initiatives associated with the consent decree, that depends on funding, that depends on how often police administrators are committed to it. And I, I just, I think that's how long it actually lasts, I think it remains to be seen. In the end, the goal is for the police department to implement best practices for how it engages with the public, for the city to begin to trust its officers again. With photojournalist Darius Booth, Gilbert Corsi, WDRB News.